Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This year planning Outlook video updated on Friday the 16th of February. Now there's a change in the weather pattern compared to what we've seen in recent times as a slack high pressure starts to take hold across the British Isles. And we've got uh, fairly quiet conditions into next week with uh, not uh, much in the way of wind, uh, not much in terms of precipitation either of any form as we go forwards. And temperatures a little bit milder than what we have seen, typically just above freezing point, but with extensive snow cover on the higher Scottish mountains that will only thaw very, very slowly. So that snowpack is staying very much in place in the days and weeks ahead. And in terms of very cold temperatures and further snowfalls, I think winter is a long way from done yet. There's the scope for easterly winds to dominate as we head towards the end of the month. More on that in a moment. Let's have a look at temperatures in the shorter term. This is the 850 millibar chart. That's around 4,500 to 5,000 feet in the atmosphere, so a little bit higher than the highest Scottish summits. This is through Saturday. We've got values on the higher tops around minus three, minus four, perhaps just a little bit colder on the very highest summits, but that's about the mark for you. Temperatures will then begin to rise as we go through Saturday night into Sunday as a warm front begins to encroach in from the Atlantic. But essentially across the mountains, temperatures near to freezing point, I think, through Sunday daytime, are likely lifting just above across many areas of England and Wales and around the west coast of Scotland as well. And that's probably where we find things as we go through into Monday. Temperatures on the mountains generally just above freezing point. Uh, but as I said, with it not much change of that snowpack, maybe just some surface thawing by day, it may well refreeze overnight. So icy conditions uh, where you've got snow cover is possible into next week. Some thawing a bit more extensive of the snow that is less uh, uh, prominent across the higher tops of England and Wales. So you may lose a fair amount of snow cover there, but across the Scottish Highlands, not too much changing. Now, I won't go too much further on with temperatures because the wind flow is uncertain as we go further ahead through next week. But things may just become that bit colder again. Let's have a quick look at the synoptic charts for the next few days. This is for Saturday and a front moving eastwards on Saturday morning produces some early rain or some snow over the highest tops of the Pennines, but that'll be soon out of the way. Brightening skies coming in, one or two residual flurries just coming in off the Irish Sea, but essentially becoming a dry picture for England, Wales and the south of Scotland. For the Western Highlands, some snow showers coming in on that still chilly west or southwesterly flow, uh, most frequent around uh, the western coastal mountains. A few flurries moving inland, but very uh, few uh, reaching the eastern side of the Scottish Highlands. And cloud bases well up away from showers, there'll be some breaks to higher tops. Winds are fairly light as well and stay that way through into Sunday and it's an awkward picture then. We've got a front uh, edging in from the Atlantic uh, with uh, milder air within that. We've got drizzly damp conditions, I suspect, across uh, some parts of the West and Southwest Highlands, across uh, England and Wales. But across a good part of Scotland, that uh, damp air may never quite get in during Sunday daytime. So across the far north and maybe much of the eastern highlands, it could well be a bright day with not too much in the way of low cloud and essentially a dry picture with not too much wind. Uh, further west, though, I think you've greater chance of running into banks of fog across many hills and even down to quite low levels around the western coast of Scotland. And I think eventually that rather damp, murky air will uh, become established across the country through into Monday. A very slack pressure pattern, so not a great deal of wind around, uh, not too much precipitation on those fronts, really. Spits and spots of drizzle, maybe some snow grains in the air across the highlands. But it could be with that slightly milder air just lifting above freezing that it uh, just tends to create a lot of fog across the hills, a slight thawing of the snowpack, just adding some moisture to the atmosphere. So murky, foggy conditions even to quite low levels across many of the mountains of Scotland and banks of cloud across the hills of England and Wales as well. Now, I won't go any further ahead on those synoptic charts at the moment. Uh, there's low enough confidence even by the time we get to Monday in terms of just where those fronts have come to rest. And a chart something like this is what we find ourselves with by around Tuesday. It's a bit of an atmospheric crossroads, really. We're in something of a call between the major pressure systems. High pressure is around the southwest of Britain and also around Scandinavia with, again, pretty benign conditions, light winds on the whole. What's critical then is exactly which area of high pressure takes hold as we go through next week and some indications would build the high from the southwest and if we see any air flows coming in as a sort of southwesterly around the high it could stay on the mild side. I think at the very least it stays not particularly cold for a few days in midweek. 
But it's the high over Scandinavia that's interesting with low pressure over Central Europe because if that develops uh, more as the week goes on, then we have the scope of an easterly wind developing across uh, northern Central Europe and eventually that getting in towards the British Isles. This takes you through towards the later part of the week and with that uh, scenario, we see that colder easterly originating from the Baltic and in Russia and that getting in and temperatures then falling at low levels even across England and Wales you could find temperatures do go down back towards freezing. The airflow then is an easterly perhaps more of a south to southeasterly across the Scottish Highlands essentially a dry picture there may be some banks of low cloud around uh, winds relatively light but if the easterly does get in then we just need to watch for that wind strengthening across the Pennines and across the hills of Wales too. In that sort of scenario, the best of the cloud breaks are always going to be towards the west, and the northwest highlands in particular would fare best if the wind is southeasterly. As I said, that's by no means absolutely guaranteed at this stage later in the week. But whilst the overall confidence is fairly low, the overall thinking towards the later part of February, as it has been for a while, is that high pressure is going to be around near and to the north of the British Isles, having originated around Scandinavia, maybe moving towards Greenland. But that just general view that we see an east or a southeasterly weather pattern with low pressure systems over the Atlantic being held at bay or maybe diverted more towards Iberia and Biscay. So essentially a drier scenario comes to us. Whether we go into anything substantially cold remains to be seen. But I think at the very least we're losing that uh, cold westerly that we have seen in recent weeks. In terms of getting any further snowfalls into the mix, we need to then develop uh, fronts from the south running into that cold air, uh, which could well give some snowfalls uh, later in the month or towards the start of March. But uh, of course detail that far ahead is very, very uncertain. At the very least then, it looks like a change and certainly compared to recent times when it's been almost relentless snow and hail showers coming into the highlands with uh, blizzard conditions at times, everything becoming a little bit quieter for a few days and it's all eyes then on whether that easterly flow will set itself up. We'll update things again on Tuesday with the full planning video looking towards uh, the following weekend. Thanks for watching, bye for now.